chapter which is retaining wall so first question is what is the meaning of retaining wall so first question is define retaining wall so the retaining wall is a structure used to retain earth or any other material and to maintain ground surface at different elevation on either side of it okay so this is the definition of retaining wall now retaining wall are used this is the function of retaining wall retaining walls are used to retain earth or any other material which may have the tendency to slide and repose at a particular inclination okay so this is the definition and the function of retaining wall you can see that in this figure this is your retaining wall this is your base slab in base slab there are two components this is toe slab and this is heel slab this vertical component is called as stem so your retaining wall is the structure to retain some material some earth so the material which is retained by retaining wall is called as backfill and you can see that this is our top most portion of retaining wall so at top most portion any other material is at the higher side of top most portion is called as surcharge if there is any other material is in this side so it is called as surcharge and this beta beta means the top most portion of the retaining wall and the surcharge the angle between the top most portion and surcharge is called surcharge angle okay so whenever in the rainy season if the rain is coming so your water is going to this drainage so through three through this drainage your water is passing through this backfill okay so you all know that backfill means soil soil particles absorb more water so the part particles of soil is interact with one another so this soils particles is absorb more water and acting force on this portion so we have to provide gravels because gravels particle is absorb less water as compared to the backfill and whenever this particle is attack on this portion some water is released from this hole so this hole is called as weep hole so the function of weep hole is to release the pore water pressure okay and go through this drain so this is the main funda and main figure of the retaining wall so the material retained by or retained or supported by a retaining wall is called backfill okay so this is backfill the whatever the soil is retained by this vertical portion is called backfill it may have its top surface horizontal or you can see that over here it is inclined but this inclined portion is over the topmost portion of the retaining wall so it is called as surcharge okay it is clear over here so the portion of backfill lying about the horizontal plane at the elevation of the top of a wall is called surcharge and what is surcharge angle surcharge angle is beta so the angle between the topmost portion of the retaining wall and the surcharge is called as surcharge angle okay so in this slide we are discussing about what is backfill 
what is surcharge and what is surcharge angle now we are discussing about what is the function of weep holes so weep holes are provided to release the pore water pressure develop in the big backfill material during the rainy season okay so this is our weep holes to provide to release the pore water pressure okay so this is the main functions and this is the introduction of our chapter retaining walls okay after that the next theory is which are the components of retaining wall so there are generally four components of retaining wall but one special component is in the special type of retaining wall which is counter for retaining wall okay so now let us discuss our next theory which is the components of retaining wall so this vertical portion is called as stem so this is our first component stem this portion this whole portion is called as base slab in which this portion is called as toe slab and this portion is called as heel slab okay this portion is called as shear key this shear key is provided to retain the retaining wall against the sliding okay you all know that in your subject soil mechanics there are two types of pressure first one is active earth pressure and second one is passive earth pressure okay so what is the meaning of active earth pressure active means away so if your force is acting to move away side that force or that pressure is called as active force and passive means its original or its against okay so it is called as passive earth pressure and the last component is counter force but this counter force component is in the counter force retaining wall only okay so these are the five components of retaining wall the next is what is the type how many types of retaining wall so the retaining walls are classified according to the shape and mode of resisting the pressure so students generally there are 8 to 10 types of retaining wall but in your syllabus there are only 6 types of retaining wall over there so our first type is gravity retaining wall so this is the figure of gravity retaining wall okay this is the figure of semi gravity retaining wall but this is not in your syllabus second one is cantilever retaining wall so this is your cantilever retaining wall third one is counter force retaining wall so you can see that this is your counter force retaining wall in this this component is called as counter force so this component is only in counter force retaining wall only okay fourth one is buttress retaining wall so this is your buttress retaining wall so first question is in your mind is what is the difference between counter force retaining wall and buttress retaining wall so you all know that this is your counter force retaining wall in which backfill is provided over here on the portion of counter force and what is the meaning of buttress retaining wall so you can see that this is your buttress it is also called as one type of counter force but in this type of retaining wall your backfill is provided on the opposite side of the buttress okay so this is the major difference between the counter force retaining wall and buttress retaining wall next one is bridge abutment retaining wall and last one is box culvert retaining wall and one most important 
retaining wall and all the faculties which is ask you in GTU that which type of retaining wall is provided in Ahmedabad in near to PVR underpass. So in that case you can see that there are some gravels okay in Jali. So that type of retaining wall is called as gable retaining wall. I repeat it is gable retaining wall. Okay. So this is the types of retaining wall but you can see that these two types of retaining wall is colored as red color is highlighted okay because these two types of retaining walls example is in your GTU syllabus okay so now this is your end of the type of retaining walls theory next is which are the forces acting on the retaining walls so students there are generally six types of forces which are acting and which are calculated while we have to designing any retaining wall so our first is lateral earth pressure so there are two types of pressure which is already discussed that the first type of pressure is active earth pressure and the second one is passive earth pressure okay if you know that your backfill is over here this is your top portion and this is your bottom portion and all this portion is with the backfill you all know that whenever you are going to move to downward direction your pressure is increasing when your depth is increased your backfill's pressure is increased so you can see that if you are moving to downward direction your pressure diagram is linearly increased so it is called as p proportional to h if your height or it is if your depth is increased your value of pressure is increased with the increasing in the height or in the depth so your p proportional to h okay so your equation is p is equal to k a into gamma into h so what is k a k a means the coefficient of earthquake sorry the coefficient of active earth pressure what is gamma gamma is sbc soil bearing capacity of soil soil bearing capacity and what is capital h capital h is the height of backfill okay so this is your lateral earth pressure second one is self weight of retaining wall third one is weight of soil above the base slab okay so this is your base slab so the weight of soil above the base slab fourth one is surcharge surcharge is provided over here it is denoted by small q fourth one fifth one is soil reaction below base slab okay and last one is friction force at the bottom of base so if we are discussing about our component shear key so the function of shear key is to retain against the friction okay so these are the main forces which are acting on the retaining wall okay so this is the end of our this theory our next theory is lateral earth pressure so students this lateral earth pressure theory is already discussed and already studied in your semester 5 subject soil mechanics Okay. so there are mainly five types of soils and its inclination okay so first is dry soil or it is called as moist soil backfill with no surcharge it means this this soil this soil is dry soil 
no water pressure on there okay so what is the value of pressure so you all know that p proportional to h it means if we are increasing our depth the value of pressure is also increase and this is the direction of the pressure and you all know that all the forces is acting on the cg so what is the cg of triangle the cg of triangle is at the h by 3 from the bottom okay so what is the value of pressure the value of pressure is p is equal to k into gamma into h so the pressure at the base of the soil or base of the wall is ka into gamma into h and all the students are make sure that whenever in this chapter we have to find out force i repeat whenever in this chapter we have to find out force then we have to find out area of pressure diagram whenever we have to find out force we have to find out area of pressure diagram so what is the area of this pressure diagram this shape is triangle so what is the area of triangle the area of triangle is 1/2 base altitude okay so 1/2 into base is equal to ka into gamma into h and our altitude is h so what is the value of force the value of force is 1/2 into k into gamma into h square so this is the very most important topic that how we have to find out force in this chapter okay so this is the idea so this is our first type of soil so students in this type of theory there are mainly three types of soils first one is dry soil second one is moisture soil in which there are soil pressure is there and water pressure is there and last one is soil pressure plus surcharge at the top of retaining wall so other two cases are discussed in our next lecture and in the next lecture we are discussing about which are the stability checks there are four stability checks and after that we are discussing about our step of designing retaining wall and after that we are starting our example number 1 which is the design of cantilever retaining walls okay so this is the end of today's session thank you